ladies and gentlemen, Voices in Perfection. So, Under the direction of our very dear friend, Leslie Wright. Let's give him a big hand, everybody. So good morning. We are so happy to have an incredible crowd. This is just wonderful. And uh, we are so happy to continue the introduction of the First Lady's ornament for the holiday season. So my name is Randall Reed Smith and I serve as the governor's curator for the West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture and History. And we are just thrilled that you could be with us here today in the West Virginia State Culture Center. Uh, I have the best job today. I get to introduce the most incredible person that you're gonna to get to hear speak today. Generous of spirit, kind of heart, and the biggest fan and supporter of the arts we have in West Virginia. Please make welcome our first lady, Kathy Justice. Madam First Lady. Thank you all. First of all, thank you everyone for being here today. This is incredible. We have such a nice crowd, a pretty weather to, for you all to come out in today. Uh, we'd like to thank the choir for being here today. We know you all are out of school, so this is pretty special. You spend your time to come here, so we really do appreciate it. You all are wonderful. Really good. Uh, I'd like to thank a big thanks to uh, Commissioner Randall Reed Smith who, and his staff. They are so wonderful to help us and do all that we do. They're just so instrumental in anything that we want to do. Randall is always there. And also the two ladies that work with me, Vicki and Katie, Vicki Shannon and Katie Spies, they have been so instrumental in making all this happen today. Um, this started back in July, if you all can, you know, like shopping for Christmas in July. This literally started in July. And uh, I, I just saw two of my good friends from Beckley here today, the crooks, so thank you all for coming too. That's great. Um, this started in July. Katie and Vicki, uh, we wanted to do something in wood. We want to try to promote wood uh, as the medium for our ornament this year. Uh, so we have such an abundance of wood in our state. We thought, well, it would be great to do a sugar maple because that's our state tree. So that's what we've come up with. Um, Katie and Vicki uh, just got online and uh, started calling, going to places and seeing what that they could find. And we had, uh, they had, they just worked around the clock on this forever. Well, uh, we nicknamed Katie. Katie, what's your name now, your scientific name? A xylophilist. A xylophilist. Is that, <laughs> that's a person that does wood, I think. I don't a know. A wood expert. A wood expert. Casey, I don't know if you know that or not. So that's, <laughs> but that, that's what we've nicknamed Katie because she spent so much time researching this. And uh, uh, they asked um, all the artists to make ornaments and submit them. And then we, this was like through a process that we went through and decided which one that we wanted to do and which um, ornament that we thought would best suit what we were looking for and that what you all would like, what you all would like to take home and hang on your tree. So that's what we came up with. Um, the two artists that we came up with are two young, very talented, creative artists, and you'll just enjoy them. I don't know if you all know them or not, but this is kind of um, a neat story, and I just wanted to give you all a little background about this. Uh, Katie, or Casey, Casey and uh, Maddie, right here, y'all come, come up here a second, please. Yeah. Casey and Maddie. They um, each do a part of this ornament. Casey does the cutting out of the wood, and uh, Maddie does the painting. They're little dots, and she paints like that, so it's like a joint effort. So they were just both individually doing this. So through, when they got this project, they uh, created an LLC. So they uh, started their, uh, a business, a combined business, and so this is, we hope this will give them a big boost in their career and they're just very, very talented. And when you all see the ornament, I think you'll, you'll absolutely know what I'm talking about. 
Um, we'd like to thank Barry Cook and Tina Payne of the Forestry Division because they were so instrumental in helping Katie and Vicki acquire the wood. And uh, the wood actually came from Canova from um, Jim C. Hamer Company. And uh, he donated the wood, and it was wood there, that was the sugar maple, like I'd stated before. It's kind of a light colored wood, and they, uh, Casey and uh, Maddie will tell you all later on, you know, how they perfected this and what all went into the different stages of it. And uh, we just, uh, we just have, I just can't believe this turnout today. It's so great, and we just really appreciated it. And I know people want to come and hear you all sing today, too. So that's why we have a lot of people, too. They wanted to hear you all. And again, thank um, Randall Reed Smith. He's just, I just can't thank you enough for all you do. I mean, for the state, for the kids. I mean, he's here all the time. Um, for Vicki and Katie, they're wonderful. You just can't imagine the time and the work that they put in and the really detailed uh, that we were looking for in the ornaments. So we had lots of artists that uh, submitted uh, for the ornament contest and they were just so special. Everyone in their own way is very, very talented. We were just looking for a certain ornament that we thought would fulfill our needs and what you all might like this year. And so we do want to promote wood in our state. We have an abundance of wood and so just uh, remember all this that there was so much thought that went into this it wasn't just a fly by night thing and it's just a beautiful ornament that these young people have created and hopefully jump started their business we just we're just so proud of them again thank you everyone for coming today i want to wish you all very happy holidays and a happy new year and we hope uh, 2019 will be even better than 2018 and 2018 has been a wonderful year so thank you all again So before we unveil the ornament, we're going to hear from our artists and the process. Casey, Maddie, ladies first. Come on, Maddie. <laughs> Give them a big hand, you all. Yay, Maddie! Hi. Um, Casey is somebody that I met last year at a charity event um, at the bakery, which is a local place that a lot of local artists um, created as a hubbub to hang out and do our art and stuff. It's been a great place. Um, I've met a lot of good people there, including Casey. Um, I've been doing dot mandalas for two or three years now. Um, it's just a process that has been my therapy and my enjoyment, and I'm very happy to get to share it with you all. Casey. I was told I wouldn't have to speak today. <laughs> well, Casey, uh, you have to speak. I know, I know, I have to speak. Uh, sugar maple, of course, is a beautiful wood, and we're lucky to have it as our state uh, tree. I was lucky to have it as a medium for the ornaments this year. Um, we get it in rough song, and we cut it down, and we plant it, and I send it to Maddie for a beautiful painting. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. Thank wow. You. So are we ready? Yes. Men first lady. Casey, Maddie. Come on out, let me get my book.
They're twenty-five dollars, and a dollar of that goes to the Mansion Preservation Foundation. And now at this time, you are allowed to buy one, and the first lady will sign for you, and so will our artists. And we open up the reception in the back. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to all the media. We love that you support the arts. Thank you for being here. And right on the side, the voices in perfection.